Good morning all. Today I'm going to do some solar charging tests of the Power Oak PS5B. Now I left it with this 150 watt incandescent light bulb on it yesterday so it should be completely drained down. Let's take a look at the display. Yes, no bars. So this thing's completely empty so uh, should be ready to take a charge from a solar panel. Let's get one hooked up. So first up this Lensun flexible 100 watt solar panel. Let's see how many watts we can get into the PS5B. And the answer is 76 watts. So that's the 100 watt flexible panel. Now I thought today was going to be wall to wall sunshine but not quite. So there will be a few between shot delays. So next up this 80 watt panel which is attached to my fence and it's angled a little bit down for winter so it's a little bit off axis. Let's see what we get into the power bank. And that one's indicating 57 watts. So that's the 80 watt panel on the fence. There are some combinations of MC4 connector that just won't come undone. It doesn't matter how hard you press these tags, you just can't get the thing out. Special tool required. And uh, even though I've got this special tool, it doesn't fit this particular combination of connectors. Brute force required! And now this supposedly 100 watt panel also on the fence and it's got a bit of shading on that right hand side but let's check that one out and that one is well that's only reading 32 watts probably because of that shading I'll just get my pole pruner yeah I think perhaps we'll come back to this one when the Sun comes around a bit because then that shading should go. It also needs a bit of a clean, that one. Well now do, let's do this um, Lensun folding solar panel, which is supposedly 160 watts. And uh, with this panel fully unfolded, 100 watts. Exactly. Right, now I'm going to try this panel, and this is a big one, this is a 240 watt. And unlike all the other panels I've done so far, like this one, which are 36 cells, you can count them if you want, 4 by 9. Is that 4 by 9? Oh no, that's 4 by 8. That's interesting. I didn't realise that. For it's a 32 cells. Those up on the fence are... 4 by 9, 36 cells. How interesting. Anyway, back to this one. This one is ooh, 6 by 10, so that's 60 cells. So on the basis of half a volt a cell, that would be 30 volts, but the actual numbers are these. Uh, voltage max power, 28.75. Voltage open circuit, 36. 0.53. And all that other stuff. And you can see at the top, 240 watts. Now we're not going to get the full 240 watts into this unit because I think its maximum input power is uh, from memory either 150 or 130 watts. I'll put that up on the screen when I've checked it. And indeed that's producing 108 watts. So something I wanted to try was these two left hand panels, both 80 watts. B both identical. Um, I've put them in series and the power going into the unit is 108 watts. Well now let's put them in parallel and see if that changes. And uh, for that I'm going to need these uh, Y piece connectors which fortunately I have. Try not to push these fully home. <laughs> I don't want to be fighting getting these things back off again. And so with that paralleled up connection down there, what are we getting? Oh, pretty much exactly the same. Uh, 108 watts in parallel 
and 108 watts in series. And finally this one again, which I've given a bit of a clean. And we're getting 64 watts. Yes, I was never really convinced that that was a 100 watt panel compared to the 81 watt, the 80 watt next to it. I mean, it's the same size as the 80 watt panel. Okay, the cells have less of a, co a corner cut off. There is still some shading on that panel actually, so uh, maybe it could be a little higher. But uh, I think I'm quite happy to accept that that's probably more like an 80 watt panel. The same as those other two. And so here endeth my test. Um, the folding solar panel, the three solar panels up on the fence. Oh, that umbrella is to shield the uh, LCD so that I could photograph it. Wasn't very easy in full sunlight. The 240 watt rooftop solar panel, 60 cells, and the 100 watt flexible solar panel. And these two 80 watt panels, identical, uh, apart from their cable length actually. One has a really long length cable and the other one doesn't. Um, on their own and in series and parallel configurations. All done. Cheerio.